Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mason Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at what is probably the fastest way to sort of white balance your footage in post. Now this obviously isn't as good as white balancing your footage in camera, especially if you're shooting sort of lower bitrate stuff, but if you're in a pinch and you need stuff done, in DaVinci Resolve 14 Beta 4, we got this great new feature. So. Right down here in our color wheels, we get this little eyedropper here. And see, I've got a couple different, you know, shots with different sort of bad white balances. And we'll see how good it does. And this was shot on a Nikon D5300. So, you know, we won't have tons of room to work. So normally this would be hard, but we'll see what we can do. So click on this little guy. Click on a little white square here. You see, that does a pretty good job. So before and after, that neutrals it out quite nicely. Let's go ahead and check the next one. And white balance this. How does it match with this shot? You know, not perfect, but I mean, still, it's definitely an improvement. So I'll take it, and then this one's real off. So let's so just pop this little guy, and look at that. You know, that's not too bad. And these two shots were in manual mode, and this one was just in full auto mode. So that's why the exposure is you know, sort of different. But, you know, just like that, it's nice and quick and easy and, you know, it does a pretty acceptable job of getting stuff done. They also have these black point and white point controls, which I would not recommend using, not because they're bad, just because that's not how you should do stuff. But, you know, this white balance thing, that's pretty nice. And, you know, if you want to be a goofball, you can click on the wrong spot and see what happens. And all sorts of good stuff. It actually was a pretty cool look. But you can just be right there. Perfect. Look at that. So nice and easy. Great new feature in DaVinci Resolve 14 Beta 4. You know, go and download it if you want to or don't if you don't want to. It's still a beta version of the software, so not everything's there. But, you know, if you're having fun playing around, I, you know, it's a fun little thing. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you'd like to give it a like, if you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out meesternmedia.com slash products. We have all sorts of good stuff. So after you get your footage looking nice and neutral, you can go... You know, use the house LUTs, and then you can go and screw it back up again. So, boom, you know, crazy looks, all sorts of good stuff. <laughs> nice, I like that one. You get something like that, and then you can always just reduce the output. You just get a little bit of flavor on top of your stuff. Nice, just like that. We've also got power grades and light leaks and all sorts of other good stuff. So check it out, leastmedia.com slash products. You won't be disappointed. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the little bell after you hit subscribe so that you can be notified of whenever I put up other videos because then you don't have to go and read all of the documentation yourself. You can just watch a couple minute video of Theo goofing off. Also, check out socials down below. And once again, I've been Theo with Mr. Media. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.